Madam Mayor, Council, thank you very much for your time this evening. My name is Sarah Seeloff. I'm the Executive Director of the Center for Creative Land Recycling. We're a national nonprofit based in Oakland. You've heard from me several times. We've been down as an independent educational resource to serve the city, uh, to serve the Council and its staff. And I'm here tonight to offer you some more resources and comment a little bit about remediation uh, in response to some of the, the comments that I've heard. First, resources. Wanted to make you aware that on October 12th in Redwood City, in partnership with San Mateo County, we will be hosting a luncheon and a workshop focused on infill housing. It's going to be a great day. We encourage you to come down. We'd love to host you. Um, we also have a variety of resources on our website. Recently we've had a series of webinars that you may find interesting. We had one called When Life Hands You a Landfill, focused on landfill remediation. It's available, recorded on our website, all free. Uh, we have another a website, or excuse me, we have another webinar that was just completed uh, called Remediation 101. So should you or your constituents be in need of any kind of information about cleanup, you can find it there. And then finally, we have more webinars stretching out. Uh, our next one is going to be September 13th, and that will be focused on in situ remediation. So in other words, solutions that don't involve digging and hauling and placing tons of dirt into trucks um, and pumping carbon into the air. We are also uh, getting ready to release a white paper that provides an easily digestible resource uh, for decision makers like you and your constituents. Uh, it is not yet in final form, but I went ahead and shared it with the city staff um, so that you'll have a copy in case it's useful. Um, I want to switch now to talking about remediation. Uh, CClear typically does not advocate for a particular end use, but I do want to comment specifically on housing because there's been a lot of talk about that tonight. Uh, we have seen land safely remediated and reused for a plethora of end uses, including the ones that you are considering tonight, including housing. Uh, in Sacramento, there are two rail yards under redevelopment. There will be housing on both of those sites. Truckee is breaking ground on a, uh, a redevelopment of a rail yard. Um, and landfills get redeveloped all the time. The highest grossing Home Depot in the country, fun fact, is right up the road in Colma, and it's built on a former landfill. Um, there was a comment made earlier about uh, the about toxic land, and there's a lot of fear around contamination. Uh, and I do want to point out that, you know, as uh, I, I noted on June 15th when I was here with a colleague who helped shape the redevelopment of Emeryville, um, that remediation costs money. It's paid for by the development of the site. That's the, the trade-off that's made. It's not a political statement. It's an economic fact, and so I just wanted to get that out there for the record. Uh, remediation is a highly regulated process, as you're no doubt aware, and there are opportunities for public engagement. Um, um, finally, I did want to comment that zero waste, water conservation, green energy, and um, other green goals are not mutually exclusive uh, from the world of housing, of mixed-use development, of all the things that we're talking about tonight. Indeed, a pillar of our national programs is to focus on climate-forward redevelopment. So in other words, we see redevelopment as an opportunity to start tabula rasa from the ground up. You have a chance uh, to start from scratch, and the sky is the limit. We all recognize that the climate is changing, and so what we at CCLEAR try to do is to pull together those examples of super green redevelopment from across the country because we don't know what the climate is necessarily going to look like in 25 or 50 years so we had better be very forward leaning when we have the chance to make decisions about it today and so we're here as a resource for you the sky's the limit um, I encourage you to think about what will keep the sky blue and not smogged in. Um, and to you and your residents, please do count us as a resource. Um, our, we offer our services uh, free of charge or at very low cost in the case of some of our workshops. We obviously have a lot coming down the pike here in the Bay Area. Um, and we've been here for you throughout many of these deliberations, and we want to continue to be here for you you as a resource. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sarah. And can you let us know what is your website where we can find those webinars www.cclr.org